हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज परमोटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन एज वी नो परमोटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन मैथमेटिक्स एंड फॉर ऑल द कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स रिलेटेड विद बैंक एग्जाम्स एसएससी रेलवे यूपीएससी सी सेट एंड प्लेसमेंट ट्रेनिंग्स एंड फ्रेंड्स आवर टूडेज आवर टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आई एम पुटिंग लिटिल फोर्स ऑन दैट बिकॉज आवर टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व this question so friends let's start with the question number 1 how many three digits number can be formed using the digits 2 3 5 6 7 and 9 which is divisible by 5 and none of the digits and none of the digits repeated and digits are not getting repeated digits repetition is not there and digit repetition is not there right friends okay now you want three digit number you want three digit number and that three digit number should be divisible by 5 so if any number if any number is divisible by 5 so if any number is divisible by 5 then the number should end with 0 or 5 the number should end with 0 or 5 but you see we have six digit and there is no zero we have six digit but there is no zero so i can say here the number should end with 5 here the number should end with 5 so friends i can say here that i have only one choice to put the digits here i can put only 5 here i can put only 5 here i cannot put any other number because the number has to be divisible by 5 and if a number is divisible by 5 then it should end with 5 so i have only one choice i have only one choice okay now 5 already we are putting here so the same 5 should not repeat because in the question they are clearly telling none of the digit is repeated means we cannot have a number triple 5 we cannot have a number triple 5 because here the numbers digits are repeated okay friends now so how many options we have here so 5 we cannot put after that 1 2 3 4 5 so after that i have five choice out of that five choice i can put any digit here i can put any digit here and then next friends and then next how many choices will be there so suppose you are putting two here then i will be left with then i will be left with only four choice so out of this four choice i can put one digit here so in that case friends none of the digits will be repeated and we will be getting the three digit number which is divisible by 5 so the total number so the total number friends i can say 5 into 4 into 1 so the total number will be 20 so there are total three digit number is 20 which will be divisible by 5 and none of the digits are repeated so there was two condition was there and both the condition we have covered here so option d will become the correct answer for question number 1 now moving towards the question number 2 now friends question number 2 question number 2 is also important and there is little twist in this question so that you have to understand so how many four digits number can be formed using the digits 0 2 3 5 6 7 and 9 so using this digit we are going to form a four digit number so first condition is the number should be four digit and the second condition is which are divisible by 5 and the second condition is divisible by 5 divisible by 5 okay friends now we know if any number is divisible by 5 then the last digit should be 0 or 5 and friends we have one more condition that digit should not be repeated digit should not be repeated digit should not be repeated so keeping all the condition in mind we are going to frame a four digit number so my four digit number 1 2 3 4 i am making one more box i will tell you the reason why i have made two box 1 2 3 4 4 now if you want the numbers to be divisible by 5 then you can put 0 or you can put 5 now friends why i have not taken why i have not taken only one box that i will tell you see the reason is if you are putting 5 here and if you are considering only one box and you are telling you have two choice that either you can put 5 or you can put 0 so if you are putting 5 here and if you are putting 0 here then this number will become then this number will be no more a four digit number because a four digit number cannot start with 0 so that is the only reason i have taken one with 0 and i have taken one ending with 5 so that uh, we will be getting the numbers which is divisible by 5 and then later on we will add it now friends 
So, with 0 I have only one choice I can put 0. So, once you will put 0 then after that how many options will be there 3 plus 3 6. So, I can use any of the 6 option here. Then so, suppose if you are putting 2 here then how many options you will be having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then you will be having 5 options. See friends try to understand if you will put 0 here then you will have 3 plus 3 6 options. So, any 6 choice you can put it here. So, suppose you put 2 here. So, after that how many choice 5 after that how many choice will be having 4 because choice will be reducing for you right friends because digit does not have to repeat. So, if you are putting 2 here you cannot put 2 here you will have to use whatever the digit remaining. Now friends if the number is ending with 5 then there is only one choice you can put 5 here. Now after that how many choice you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have 6 choice but you cannot put 0 here because if a number will start with 0 it can never be a 4 digit number. So, 0 also you cannot put here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, you will have 5 choice then. Suppose you have put 2 here, then how many choices will be left for you? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But 0 I can put, 0 I can put at the second place, no problem. So, again you will have 5 choice. And then friends, and then friends, how many other choices you will have? So, now suppose you have put 0 here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, you will be left with 4 choice. Now, if you will multiply and add, that will be your answer. So, 6 into 5 into 4 into 1 plus 5 into 5 into 4 into 1. Now, this will be 25 into 4 will be equal to 100 and 6 into 5 is 30 and 30 plus 4 will be 120. So, total there will be 220 numbers. So, total there will be 220 numbers which will be 4 digit number which will be divisible by 5 and where digits will not repeat. So, friends I hope you would have understood this complicated question. This was a very good question and if you understand this question then permutation and combination you will be able to understand easily. So, thanks a lot for watching the video.